although life can sometimes be messy, we're living it. a boat. How hard could this be? Where are the kids? I swear, if he is on his phone in the... What's going on? I just finished that uh, Nordhaven Festival entry. Do you want to come watch it? Yeah, I'd love to. It's going to take me a second to get out of here. What are you doing back there? It's time to change the colors. Wow. Okay, well, I'll see you up there. I'm going to yeah. find the kids. Ru? Rooney? Hi! There you are. What are you doing? Doing a pastor. I just finished the Nordhaven Film Festival entry. Do you want to come watch it? What? Louder. I know you're excited. Yeah. Have you seen Penn? He was making some potions talk. Oh, no. Okay, thanks. Do you want to come watch the video I did about the boat? Yeah. Mom, it's a yacht. I'm Brooke, and this is Brayden. We have two kids and two dogs, Rooney, Penn, Frazier, and Captain. At 75 tons and 55 feet long, our home is different. With time being non-renewable and our home being, well, movable, around the world we go as we roam to know. Welcome aboard, Mermaid Monster. No one writes a script for your life. There are no auditions. Daily life choices tend to feel natural and insignificant. Those small life choices have a big impact on the plot development or outcome of not only our own personal story, but those around us. People don't just end up living on the water for no reason. People just don't decide to build yachts for no reason. They don't just mindlessly decide to climb Mount Everest, recycle plastics, become a doctor, or choose to live on a Nordhaven. Our small life choices turn into habits, which cultivate dreams, which spurs curiosity, which inspires change, which leads us to actually pursuing our dreams. But what makes this entire concept magical is when we share the product of our dreams. Because sharing your dream might inspire someone else's. Like our bodies and minds, these yachts are not meant to sit in a marina and look pretty. They are meant to be used. Well, we're anchoring right as the storm's hitting. And so I could go on and on about why we chose a Nordhaven. But in the end, it is simple. Like so many others, our dreams align. Us humans are meant to explore. 
So why not explore what Mother Nature has to offer? After all, 70% of her is covered in these fine molecules we call H2O. And so we say thank you, Nordhaven, through winter, spring, summer, and fall. The product of your dream has allowed us to live ours. And I can say, although life can sometimes be messy, we are living it.